my dear gramophone channel followers very nice to see you i'm the owner of the gramophone channel i started it three months ago to share some of my records uh, first i started from demonstrating the 78s rhythm and blues rock and roll records chuck berry was uh, a big hit thousands and thousands of views but then i decided that i cannot keep up with uh, with this theme for long because i will be bored and you will be bored if i will be posting the same thing over and over so I, lots of things that i would like to share with you there will be lps there will be gramophones um, there will be some all 78s 45 rpm singles i highly appreciate your comments um, i i like albert's comments so much uh, i know that uh, some of you know much more about these records than i do because i i don't really want to commercialize this channel i would like this channel to be for my followers who appreciate the good music what i wanted to show you today very quickly is uh, the parcel that came to me from ebay so i bought um, a phonograph that was made in 1912 there will be lots of work done on the case now let's go i will show you what i got So all these corners here has to be flattened. It is better to send it wet. Also, you need to get rid of of the glue. Uh, they used uh, the bone glue 100 years ago. So you have to clean it up with the hot water. And these things go into the gap. So I'm not doing any modifications here. I just trying to make all these things perfect. So the more flat this surface will be, then less gap you will get at the end. So what we're trying to accomplish here is that when we will glue these sides together there shouldn't be any gap. It should be a perfect corner. This thing goes here and here we go. So I already flattened all four corners. Uh, the glue that we'll be using will be this Gorilla Glue original brown in color glues everything pretty much but especially the wood very good for wood it cannot be dissolved in water or any type of substance if you will apply this glue it will create a bone which will last forever if you'll try to break this corner, I'd rather will break the wood than the joint that you've done with this glue. Okay. Yeah. It already starts to come out, you see, right? But it'll be even more because this glue is very special when it dries out it becomes white and it expands it runs all all over and it gets out of of all the holes like a foam okay Just put a little bit more glue on, on this side. Here we go.
the first corner is done let's move on to the next one Corner number three. Corner number four. So this corner is perfect, this corner is tight, maybe a little bit needs a push this side, okay. okay. All corners are aligned perfectly. No issues. What about this one? This one is also aligned. This is great. This is also great. This is... We just align it against the table. The table is square. So the, all the sides are parallel and therefore this platform is square right okay so now I'm going to leave it for 24 hours for 24 hours we're going to leave it like this and let's clean up these corners too because I want to show you where we are going to with this with this base I don't want to disappoint you today and to show you this part only because this part doesn't tell you anything right isn't it it's not showing you how the gramophone will look like in general but I will give you a hint because I want you to get a little bit of satisfaction from from this video so you will be awarded at the end so now I got the screwdriver and I got all the parts that came to me actually it came to me like this not assembled someone disassembled it someone is trying to refinish it uh, and left it like that so all the parts are here and all the bolts are here as well so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna show you how this phonograph will look like eventually so I will assemble it in a case but later on I will disassemble it and I will start working on each and every part because you actually need to refinish it part by part and after that you have to do the assembly of it so I'm gonna use original screws these are original to this phonograph screws that were also shipped to me 
with the wooden parts okay so this is wall number one presumably it will be the face side of the phonograph okay it's say it's a face it's a face side so then this comes to the left this obviously will go to the right because it has a crank hole you can tell this is the back side by uh, by the way this is an extra hole I, I didn't drill that it's not supposed to be here these two holes are for the bracket mounting bolts they go through this board and the bracket on the on the outside is attached to the case you see the mounting screws are over here and by the way there will be the bottom board that will be attached here with nails so those screws will not be visible underneath and now i'm going to insert those corners okay i will insert them like this they shouldn't be loose and they shouldn't be tied like this shouldn't be. okay like this and one more corner comes here okay couple of screws but we can apply a couple of screws here and there okay this And the cover will be installed on hinges and the lock like this okay and also I forgot a couple of more things you might be wondering what supposed to be here one Now you've got a little bit of an idea what this phonograph will look like. And in terms of the color, in terms of the color, someone started to finishing the, uh, the corners and the walls. So they still preserve original, I would say, dead finish that needs to be fully renovated. This needs to be fully renovated. The cover, by the way, has many problems. You see that uh, the boards are splitting. They are loose. They have to be glued together. Hinges, lock, all the equipment here on the top we will install later. It will be a heavy two-spring motor. It will be a heavy a rear bracket, a rear mount bracket and horn um, but you can already see one more quick look around what this phonograph will look like okay let's look around it and uh, it will be so beautiful do you guys want to see some flowers in the garden? I will show you a couple. This is where I got injured. 
last night cutting the rose bush some roses and the most beautiful thing of this season is and cherries lots of cherries this year and even peaches we have some Ontario peaches, lots of peaches this year too. That's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed the monthly catch up. I will see you later, maybe earlier than in the month because depending on how this will progress, I am planning to refinish it within the next two weeks that's everything i wanted to show you today a quick video a monthly catch-up if you guys want to see more posts like that just let me know and i will surely do something new for you lots of interesting phonograph projects i like restorations and uh, that brings me lots of joy and I hope you'll enjoy that too with me. Thank you very much and have a nice day.